Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and before I get started let me tell you that it is finally a lovely lovely day here well it's cloudy but it is about 22 or so degrees so I have my windows open so <laughs> let's cross our fingers that there won't be any noise disturbing us all right so welcome to a very very special day 21 of may I scrap lift you we are scrap lifting the lovely Nicole from Cause We Love to Scrap A Z. But not only are we scrap lifting her today, but we are celebrating with her because Nicole has reached 1,000 subbies here on YouTube. So you are going to see a list down below. Of course, the May I Scrap Lift You playlist will be there. But there are some of our friends that are maybe not playing along with May I Scrap With You that are participating in the 1,000 Subby celebration. So congratulations, my friend. Um, Nicole is so, so talented. I'm sure you are already following her. But if by any chance you aren't, you aren't run, run over there. Of course, I will have Nicole's channel listed down below. So you can see the layout that I chose to scrap lift up here in the corner. And Nicole and I are on the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team together. She is also part of our Sketch Sunday crew. So I chose uh, a layout that she had created for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I really love it for a couple of reasons. It's a set, it's a vertical design. Nicole has lots and lots of layers on there, but it's all sort of nicely compact in one area. And I just love, love, love that. She's done tons of layers. So far, I don't have as many. We'll see where we go from here. So I'm using my Adventure Awaits um, kit and I'm using this Joyful Notes uh, paper from American Crafts that um, I'm using both sides. So I have the two papers out here, but in the end I'm using the A and B side of the same paper. And my original idea was to use um, one of the cardstocks that came with the kit, but I decided I wanted a little bit more contrast and sort of texture in the back. So I went into my stash and I got this 49 and Market Nature Study, the colored foundations. I got one of those papers and I really, really like the the um, sort of texture that is built into the 49 and Market Foundations paper. I did a little bit of splattering, as Nicole did, with my Glimmer Mist from Tattered Angels Coffee Shop. I have not found um, a replacement for this yet. I'm still looking. If any of you know, both myself and my friend Sheila, we both want to know what uh, we could use instead of this. I haven't seen it. Is there a Shimmers? Can anybody let me know that? Anyway, we'll see. I really do need to find because that is almost, almost done. So I did a little bit of splattering on the background and then I started doing a little bit of layering. And while I was getting this 49 and Market uh, background paper out, I took one of the film strips. I do love the 49 and Market film strips. Um, I also have this lovely paper from American Crafts. Uh, so I use that to map my photo. That's a photo of our lovely, lovely Jack just out one of the sunny, sunny spring days, just out sunning himself while um, Joey was getting the deck furniture and everything sort of set up. And we've not had an awful lot of deck or outdoor weather yet, but it, it's getting there, hopefully. But this was a lovely sunny day. And doesn't he? He really does look as though he's out there sort of sun, sunning himself and tanning in his chair. God bless our little guy. Okay, so I've got two layers down. The film strip. Uh, and then I have this tag just in my bowls on my desk. And I will put all of this 
family here. Now, I'm wondering whether this needs to be inked a bit. Nicole, I think, did a little bit of distressing, and I've got pecan pie here, and I'm thinking I might want to do a little bit of inking. I didn't think of it before doing any of this, so it won't be perfect, and that's fine. But definitely this tag, I find, just blends in to the background a little more than I would like it to. There we go. All right, let's do a little bit of inking here. There we go. Bring this down. Let me make sure I've got this properly go properly stuck to the velcro I love these little it was actually a mistake when I ordered um, these little uh, blender tools I really thought I was ordering something a little bit bigger but I actually like them so there you go All right now am I going to do this a little bit yeah let's do a little bit here and all of this down like I said this will be far from perfect because I just thought of it but there will be some inking all the way around maybe not everywhere but there you go yeah, I do think I'm, I do think this was a good idea. I should have thought of it before, but there you go. Hey ho! All right, my friends. Okay, so let's pop this down. Then we'll see whether we need to do any more inking. And I think I'm going to put all of this down, but I won't put my adhesive too far over because I think I might be doing some tucking. Now I already wonder whether I don't want to pop this sort of behind here a little bit or bring it out here. I don't want to tuck it in there. I think I might want to just tuck a little bit, not on that side. Yeah, see, just bring a little bit of that right there. All right, let's do that. And I am going to ink this to get a few more layers in there. I'm, I'm, going, I guess, a little bit wider than um, Nicole's layout, but there you go. Now, at, well, because I think also my photo is maybe a little bit bigger. So, let's put that down. There we go. And we will bring that right here. Yeah, not there. Definitely bring that just down here a little bit, just so that we have a little extra. There we go. All right, let's bring all of this down, and then I'll see if I can do what I want to tuck in and how we finish this up. Now, Nicole's title, The Good Life, is Tiny, Tiny, Tiny. Um, I might want to do something a little bit bigger but because I've brought a few things out I've got this uh, thousand words you know as in a picture is worth a thousand words that I could maybe pop up here I'm not sure but I like the way it fits but I do have that um, I've got uh, a frame here it's 49 in market frame that I'm going to pop in here let's see I think I do want do I want that there now that I've added this a little bit I think I might want it to go a little bit wider so I might want to use this side bring that out no I'm not sure I think I want to bring this one down here so let's just do a little bit of inking here as well. And we will put 
that. There we go. Let's pop that here. Let's bring it down a little bit, not quite. There, all right. I think I want to maybe bring this one. I want to bring that down here. Oh, I think I like it there. See, I was thinking I was going to pop it here, but I think I like it there. Let's ink it a little bit so it just gives a little extra little things. Nicole is so good at like just popping things in. Um, tucking things in. She really has an absolutely gorgeous and elegant style. She has a very, very, very elegant style. All right, let's bring this down so that it's not lined up. There we go. Okay. Now, I have some of these little tickets that I thought I might want to pop in. something like that and then bring that in a little bit further I do think I like that so now I'm trying to just sort of not overthink it go with the flow so we'll see let me pop that here so that it comes out no there we go and then I'm not really worried about any of the words or anything. These, This is the Vicki Booten ticket paper um, that was in the Adventure Awaits, and I was doing a lot of fussy cutting. There we go. Okay. Like that. Then do I want to maybe pop one of these up here? Yeah, I do like that. That it gives a little extra height. There we go. Then now let's see. I have I have these fun. Uh, little burlap hearts that I brought out as well that I had shown you before. I have these fun puppies. Now, these are not um, golden doodles, but I think this is kind of cute. Let's see. Let's, maybe this one where he's sort of lying down. This one is cute, too. Oh, I have another ticket that I might want to pop somewhere in here. Maybe something there. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, no, I think I like that down here. And then maybe I will pop... Or do I want to put him there? No, he's looking off the page there. I don't want him looking off the page. So how about we put him down there? See if we pop another one of those tickets right there. Or do I want to pop it under here? No. Okay, let's leave it there for a bit. I think I do want that there. And I may want... Star there. Shall we pop? No, I don't think I want that. There we go. I think we could put a couple of hearts here. How about if I put a couple of hearts right there? Or do I want to put. No. I don't want any of that there. How about if we pop a camera? 
let's get this down. I'm waffling right now, so let's. Should I put a little bit of liquid glue just in case? Yeah, just a tiny, tiny, tiny little dab of liquid glue here. that there he is just adorable pop that there do I want to go ahead a little bit more let's see do I want to put this here not really I think I do like the star up there, but then there's a little something there that I find that I would like to have. Do I want to maybe pop this floral there? Okay, that could be a nice idea. And this ticket there. I did that, and we'll put that, with, oh, you know what, I kind of like that, my friends, all right, let's, let's do that, Get down, and then let's pop that, now I think I might need uh, a little pop dot, so let me go get that, I'll be right back. All right, so let's just pop up one part of this. There we go. There we go, like that. Okay, this is coming along quite, quite, quite well. Maybe I could pop this star down here. I think I kind of like that. How about if I did that? Let's do that. We're just going to put a little bit of liquid glue here. Get that done. There we go. Bring that here. Go. See, isn't that funny? I really wanted to get some of these. Oh, I thought that they would be cute, but I'm not sure I need them now because now what I'm really thinking is I am just going to put some sequins all around, and I don't think I need. I don't think I need the burlap hearts, and I was so sure I was going to pop one in there. Um, unless, here, I'm just thinking, would I pop one there? I think that would just be to say that I actually got one on there, so let's not. All right, so I'm just going to pop some sequins around. A little bit willy-nilly the way Nicole did. Pop a few there. Let's put some here. And up there, whoop, not that. I don't want to do the same. There we go. Let's put that there. this here and then we will bring another one of these over here bring one down here bring one over there 
her. There we go. Put one here. there okay all right my friends I think this you know you don't <laughs> you don't need to see me popping this all over the place but you you can see what I'm getting at so I'm just gonna go finish do that off screen I will put a photo at the end so that you can see all the sequins when they are on the layout and I did not use this lovely big title and I don't think I will I'm actually now thinking this doesn't really need a title uh, I will maybe put a few journaling lines here I'm not sure so that uh, Joey or the girls could put a little bit of journaling but we'll just get the date I'll definitely put the date here that's that might be all that I will do and um, as I say I'll just go off and finish my sequence I'll put a photo at the end and thank you so much for joining me today once again, congratulations, well, well, well deserved congratulations, my friend, Nicole, um, on reaching a thousand subbies. You'll be flying even way higher than that very, very, very soon. And to all of you watching, make sure you pop on down the list of everybody playing along as well as the May I Scrap With You list and Nicole's channel are down there below for you. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you back soon.